Hi Capricorn, this reading is for you. You guys, I don't have a tripod. I have the camera in my hand. My videos are shaky, so if it makes you dizzy, please just go elsewhere. Um, and if you would like to donate for a new tripod or for some new equipment, I accept donations. I would much appreciate it. And I thank everybody who has sent me donations already and who have contacted me about why I haven't made videos in the last six months. I have been very ill, and I thank you, everybody, who send me well wishes. Also showing my artwork back here. This is Phoenix Rising, Out of the Chaos. There's my little Phoenix right there. Um, my artwork is for sale, and I am doing readings again. I'm doing my best to keep the information below, how to contact me. I did have a website up, but because I've been sick, I haven't been upkeeping things, so hopefully just contact me for a reading or if you're interested in any of my paintings and the, the link is below for everything, for donations and everything. Please like, comment and subscribe. You guys, I am Aquarius. I don't like it when I watch videos and the three minutes are spent on shuffling, so I shuffle all the cards off camera and lay them out. I haven't looked at them yet, so I have from now to the 15th for Capricorn, and then I have a card laid out for the most important message that you need to hear right now, that if you focus on that, would lead you to your best life. So, I feel we're at very exciting times right now, you guys. It's big shake-ups going on. Oh my goodness, and I love how your reading starts. This is my very favorite card. The star. So right now, Capricorn, you are the star of the world, of your world, okay? The star card is a very healing card, but it's also a card of complete authenticity. And for me, in this position, it shows me what is being set up for the rest of the reading. So sometimes when we are feeling completely authentic the world is not jiving along with us so the rest of the reading will tell me whether the world is jiving along with your need to be authentic but this is a very powerful curve for you capricorn it shows me at this current time that you can really manifest anything that you want um your secret is to be authentic no matter what even if you're nervous to do that the universe is pushing you on to do that it's also a very it's about healing but you're in your power i mean i feel like you can accomplish anything you want right now capricorn when i see this card begin a reading okay very powerful for you but let's see what the rest of the cards have to say with that oh, come on come on card Ooh, so we got uh, Ace of Swords crossing your path. I love these cards, you know, um, the way she represents everything. The Ace of Swords, to me, is a new beginning, but you're pretty determined. Okay, so you got something going on big here. There, my Capricorns for the next two weeks. You're pretty determined. And there's an open doorway for you. There's an open opportunity over the next two weeks. So sometimes people miss it by just their negative thinking. But we'll see as things go along. But it's there for you. And with the sword, either cutting something out or you're... you're uh, signing a contract to bring something in. Now, there's a lot of talk about the retrograde. You shouldn't sign contracts, whatever. Let's see. Let's see how that is for Capricorn. Ooh, so this is kind of interesting. So it does show me a little bit of a friction to go along with these two cards. This is Seven of Cups. It's like Alice in Wonderland being led by the rabbit. Which hole will she go down? And no matter which hole she goes down, it's going to take her on an adventure. But this is about being somewhat ungrounded, um, being on shore. Um, you're thinking about a lot of things, but nothing has manifest. So it's interesting that you got two strong cards of manifestation, even though you're on shore. So I'll... The rest of the reading should address 
that. I always feel that my first three cards are lining up the energies, okay, of what the rest of the reading is wanting to talk about. So I feel like for my Capricorns watching that, you know, you're really in your element. You got some plans. The universe is backing up those plans for the next two weeks. The energy that's come all around you is saying, yes, there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity here. But this card doesn't match these two cards. This is kind of like, okay, not quite seeing your way. Things might be in the planning stages, but there's still some things stewing around in your mind. Um that you're not quite put your finger ooh that hydro fan he's just popping up everywhere you guys i don't like him i just don't like the hydro fan card at all so but this is what's in your past in the recent past maybe there was something official that you had to take care of i don't feel the starred card and the hydro fan go together and I have a rejection of the Hydro Paint card because it always seems so strict to me. It seems like like a religious figure, like a priest or something, which I don't know. I guess my past life energy doesn't like. My past life energy kind of can smell burning, you know, myself being burnt to a stake, you know. So I don't know. I find it in friction with this card. To me, when I see the Hydro fan, it represents things in life like doing income tax, doing official things that we might not want to do, signing contracts, uh, an authority figure over us. Some people read it as a really spiritual card, but for me, it's just authority and strictness. Now, this is interesting because she got the other swords. Now, when I when you were at this sword, I think I mentioned something about signing contracts and this person is definitely signing papers and it's often said that during the retrograde you should not sign any paperwork i don't know if we're in the retrograde or not but i've heard a lot of people talking about you shouldn't sign paperwork right now but it looks like to me that you have no choice capricorn that that's what you're going to be doing like I would say over the next five, six days, whether it's journaling, I feel like you get trying to get something in order here. This is the king of swords. But I love how it's represented all these papers that she's writing and writing on it, especially after I said something about writing here. Um, and I feel like you have some unsureness. And some anxiety. There's some anxiety there. Like maybe you're writing like legal documents or you're trying to straighten something out or you're trying to get a message across. It's pretty extreme. There's a strictness behind it when I see the swords. So there's a strictness to this reading in these three cards, but not in these cards. I mean, she's just as cool as a cucumber, this one, you know. And that's the your most dominant card in the reading. It also, again, this onshore energy. You're juggling the two of pinnacles. Maybe you're juggling finances. Maybe you had to pay a lawyer. Um, give me some clarity on this card. I'm going to get out my little cards for Capricorn. Give me some clarity on what this juggling of finances is. Um, you're busy. The balls are up in the ear. And I feel like this card, again, a card of being up in the ear. So you know that. You know that that's around you right now. Mm. You're wishing for something to manifest. It's not rolling as long, as easy as you would. Because I feel like with this card, you got like some sort of divine message to go in a certain direction. And there is a pathway open for you. But I feel like there's some discomfort in getting there over the next two weeks. There's some juggling of finances. You're going to be busy. Your wish isn't going to come without some work. Without you putting some effort. Because this is definitely you having to deal with some people. You're dealing with some stuff. King of Swords there. You're dealing with it, you know. Mm, now we got the Emperor. Now this is what's 
in your subconscious mind what you're really thinking about. And I think that I found that to be a very interesting depiction of the Emperor Napoleon. You know, he had that ego issue. But he's in the nursery. He's not going too far in that horse. So it already gives you an idea of some immaturity. What's deep on your subconscious mind. And we got this two cards of like some sort of strict energy. So maybe some of my Capricorns watching, you're dealing with something that has a strictness behind it, that has authority behind it this week. But there's some energy that's in friction with it. I love that where you're at, though. But I always feel like it, the star doesn't really match with these strictness. So your subconscious mind, you're, you're dealing with some man-type authority that you don't think much of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Capricorn. You don't think much of this person that is most on your mind of what you have to deal with. So I think you're doing, I think you've gone inward and you have you know which path to take, but it's just not comfortable. Something that you're dealing with right now is just not comfortable for you. And others around you, and here, this is the Six of Cups. Others around you, something from the past. People from the past. Issues from the past. I'm going to get a little clarity. Clarify the Six of Cups for me. And as far as people around her, environments, the influence, how other people see you. Hmm. We got the Five of Cups. Something from the past. So I think some of you are going through like a divorce or some sort of legal work or buying a house. There's something official here that you don't quite see the way forward, but you did go within and got connected with you, the authentic self. You did get directions because it is something that's somewhat uncomfortable for you to deal with, Capricorn. And this could be a divorce here. This could be buying something, like a big home purchase or something. I'm not seeing a love reading. I'm not seeing the end of a relationship. Strength. Now we got the strength. Speaking of houses. And like with this strength card, she's on those cards. Like for me, this, this, this deck has a really Alice in Wonderland theme. And she's on this stack of cards well you only have to pull one and she's going to come tumbling down but the strength card is about having the strength to beat your opponents but your strength needs to come from like a star type of strength not this type of strength not a masculine strength it's a feminine strength it's to using like feminine charm, using love, using from the feminine side of the brain, okay? You're not pushing, you're not doing this Napoleon thing. But I feel like you're up against something that has the energy of being something man-dominated or from the masculine side of the brain. That Capricorn, you might not quite be so comfortable in dealing with. But like I say, what I love about this reading is that you did go within. You got yourself aligned. You got your instructions and you know, don't use force, okay? Don't try to, you could outsmart this person with your feminine charms, whether you're a man or female. Don't try to win this by aggression, even though this is aggressive, okay? And this is aggressive. But that sword can cut out cancer. A knife can cut out cancer, but it can also kill a person, okay? So it can cut out the good. It can cut out the bad. It can do bad things. It can do good things. That's what the meaning of that sword is, you know? But I feel like you have something that you're dealing with. Ooh! And we end with an interesting card. Double sevens in your reading. We end with an interesting card. Look at this. Someone is watching you. 
And one is spying. The Seven of Swords, the O come by the 15th, is you're still dealing with this. And you still need to stay in the star energy. Because you're dealing with something that's going to take some strength. You're dealing with something from the past that has some difficulty with it. You're dealing with some male-like energy. It doesn't mean that you're dealing with a masculine. It means you're dealing with something from that side of the brain that's logical, that's that type of thing. But you're approaching it this way, which is a good way. And you're being told to approach it in a very uh, smart way. By using attributes from the feminine side of the brain. If you don't understand that, go look it up, please. But your outcome on the 15th, this doesn't mean the final outcome of what's happening here, is someone is watching you. So I think for you to know that is in your advantage, okay? Because whatever you're getting yourself involved in here, Capricorn, you're already involved in it. It looks like to me you're trying to straighten something out. It's something official and important. Um, you've gone within. You've gotten yourself aligned. It's going to take some strength. But what the universe wants you to know, that whoever you are dealing with, whomever, whatever organization or official, they are watching you. They are going behind your back and digging for information, okay? And that's where things will be in regards to this around the 15th. Now, whatever this is will continue beyond the 15th, but I think the universe really wanted you to know that you're being watched. And they're gathering information on you, because so this could very well be illegal, something. Mm, with the, all the swords here. And the male energy and the clarifier. I asked for clarification on what this is. And I think there might be some finances involved in this. So there's somebody checking you out to see your background, your finances, what's really going on. Maybe there's an insurance claim for some of you. But somebody's doing some investigating or watching that you don't know about okay and that's the outcome that's where this circumstance will be for you capricorn by the 15th and again look at this this is the star card and in the lenormand deck this is the star also like you're just sitting there and you're aligning yourself and you're trying to figure out what the best thing is to do, but you're letting the universe bring it to you. You're really trying to say, okay, show me the way, because you're well aware of what you're up against. Show me the way. Okay, so this is what this person is doing. He's out under the moonlight, this little fairy, and I love it. To me, they're very similar. Keep going in that direction is what these cards tell you. Okay, and this is how this will all work out in your favor. Because there is something going on that somebody's looking into your background, okay? And making a decision about stuff, a big decision. So whether you're male or female, take, go look at what the feminine attributes are from the feminine side of the brain. Even though you're up against the masculine, so, you know, use your charm, watch their ego, don't trigger their ego or anything if you want to win this, okay? But by the 15th, know that this is still going on, whatever this is. Woo! And I asked the most important message that you needed to hear right now, and you got the life purpose card. And with this card, what I'm asking is what, if you listen to this, would lead you to what's best for you over the next two weeks. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding a purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose, and your purpose will serve you. And I find this, again, authenticity. It goes so well with the star card. You know, 
I think in some type of way, you're struggling to be, not struggling, you, you're devoted to being authentic. And you're up against something that doesn't, is not authentic. And you're, you know, the king of swords, the two of pentacles, both, and then this, this spine yarn, they all tell me that you're having some sort of energy that you have to put into this, that there's some difficulty. You're taking step by step, doing what you are guided to do, but keep going within, okay? And know that this is part of your life purpose. I think you already know, and I already know that you are connecting to you're determined to be authentic through whatever this mess is, okay? Whatever your contract or whoever this opponent is, okay? Okay, Capricorn, let me know below if this resonates with you. I'm always so curious of what's going on with people's lives. So, like, say anything, you guys. Tell me anything that you want to tell me, you know? Or ask anything if you need some clarification on the cards. And like I say, I'm available for readings or for sell my paintings if you're interested in painting. And I'll try to put more details up. But there are details down below this video. So peace to you, Capricorn. And I hope this was somehow helpful to your life. I found it. this reading contained a lot of information. Okay, peace.